So I wanted to make a quick video for folks who want to use Zoom in their Canvas course and maybe are uncomfortable or haven't used Zoom before. So um, reach out to Jerry Troop if you wanted to get a Zoom license. And so if you haven't gotten one already, but once you do and you walk through the setup process, you know, you create your password, you go to zoom.us, then you're going to log in. Then you're going to go to my account. And over here, there's profile meeting, webinar recording settings. Go on profile. Um, and under personal meeting ID, this is a link to your, basically your virtual office. And this is what you're going to want to use consistently to send to students. It's about the easiest way. There are other ways to do it. You can schedule recurring meetings and you can have all sorts of restrictions. But if you really just want um, a way to replicate your on-ground class or to replicate your office. This is basically what you do and this is the link that you give to students. So you copy that and if you drop it into a tab um, you know or you send a link to a student and when they click on it it's going to open that Zoom meeting. So that's what's happening now here. It's prompting the Zoom meeting and if you don't have Zoom recorded I'm going to end this meeting. If you don't have Zoom already download it, it will prompt you to record it, and if a student clicks on the link with their cell phone or their tablet, it's going to prompt them to download the Zoom app, which allows students to join you know, your Zoom calls via their mobile device. So that's your link that you're going to share. Now, if you want to offer it to students in Canvas, you can do that. You can go to your Canvas page. I'm going to go to into my, my test course. Um, there's multiple ways to communicate this, right? You can send it out with an announcement over here. And you can create an announcement and say, hello everyone, here is going to be where our Zoom class will be held. So you can send it through here. Live classes. I'm just, I just copied this and now I'm pasting it here. And so then students can just click that. Um, and then you go ahead and click save and save in canvas actually means send so it's going to send it um, so you can do that that's probably the easiest way or you can pull the CTC link email roster um, that's gonna give you uh, the accurate emails for all your students and you can email them that way so you can send them an email with that link another way is actually building in the link into your course navigation some folks like to do that I can show you briefly how to do that. Um, go into your course settings and under apps you're going to search for redirect tool and let it load. And It shows this arrow. Click on that. Click add app. And This is adding this app to your class. So the name is what you're going to want to rename. You're going to want to say, you know, live class or office hours. And you can even put the days here, Monday through Friday, 9.30. So students know when the timing is. And now under the URL direct, you're going to go back to this Zoom profile, and you're going to take this link. And you're going to drop it in here. I'm going to just delete all this. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to show in my course navigation. And I'm going to add app. Now it says this app was added successfully, but I don't see it over here. What you're going to want to do is refresh this page. And if you look, now it's down here. I can see that. And so students can see that too. So when they click that, they'll have to click open in a new tab and then boom, your Zoom class is, is off and running. So that's, here we are again. That's how you can communicate to your students where your Zoom room is and that's how you can access that information. Like I said earlier, there are other ways to get this, to set up a room, like you can schedule a meeting or host a meeting with students and it might be a different process but this is going to be the easiest way for you. Um, ben Whitmore, let me know if you have any questions.